um, the reason that many families have problems because of the difference between male and female. And many people who get married are not aware of that. Males are interested in action. Females are interested in family and relationship. And males don't like to talk about feelings. Uh, they prefer to handle their feelings internally, and they don't want to talk about it. Uh, if they feel unhappy, they feel many males will feel ashamed to talk about their feelings. They want to handle it to show that they are capable of handling their problems. And then for female, they want to talk about their feelings, and they have to talk about their feelings. When they have feelings, they want to talk about it, and they like to hear the responses of people. Okay, and then for males, they have to learn before they can love. Um, it's an, you know, female are more willing to love and want to be loved. That males generally uh, want to do their own things. They're not so interested to care about other people and love other people. They, you know, when uh, many young men, they say, I love a young woman. What he really means is, I like you. I want you. It doesn't really mean he likes her. He, uh, I mean, he loves her. Um, excuse me. What he means is that he likes her. She, he likes her look. He likes her body. Uh, but then he might not be willing to listen. Now, at the beginning, he wants to listen. The reason is because he's chasing after her. When he's chasing after her, then he is willing to do anything. So you notice that when people fall in love, uh, the, uh, the male is willing to do anything to please the girlfriend. Uh, but after they you know, have a steady dating relationship, then the male start to be unwilling to listen. And they think it's uh, you know, bothersome to listen. And, and the women have to talk so much and they don't like it. So it's not the nature to care about the other person. Um, in a family, is it often happened like that that the the mother would care about the children. Know they, uh, the mother knows, you know, what's happening with the children, what are their needs. But sometimes the father would forget about the needs of the children. And sometimes even the father forgets, uh, you know, which child go to what grade, and sometimes even mix up their names. So that's now is. Of course, you know, not every father would forget uh, mix up their names, but then some fathers would do that, that they, they have uh, limited love. They don't have a strong, a strong a motivation to love. When women uh, are willing to love, they also want to be loved. They want to be cared for. They want to, uh, to be comforted. Uh, they want to be listened to. And the male have a tendency to forget family responsibility easily. They will forget about what they have to do, and you know that um, when they are busy outside, they forget about you know they have to buy food for the family uh, or different chores they have to do for the family. And many males are even not uh, they're not uh, ready to take up the responsibilities at home. They don't want to do house chores. And then for female, they usually have a strong responsibility toward the family, that they, uh, the family is high priority, okay? And then males don't want to be nagged, and uh, they want the conversation to be short. And the female, when they, uh, I'm sorry, I typed this wrong, <laughs> F-E-M-A-L-E, okay? The female, they, uh, she nags easily, and then when she's unhappy, she will uh, repeat what she wants to say a few times. So that's what happened uh, when they, you know, the male and the female, they come together. You know, at the beginning, uh, also, you know, uh, when they're, they're dating, the girl also like to uh, draw the attention of the, the boyfriend. And so she would be... You know, she will act very in a cute way. 
in a very lovely way and she doesn't talk much about her needs uh, she doesn't complain much so that's usually when they are dating the girl wants to attract the, the, uh, the girl the boy and the boy wants to attract the girl and say so they would do things to attract each other but after they have a steady relationship then the um, the male would start to forget about the needs of the woman and then he would start to you know just do his own thing and he doesn't want to listen especially after marriage you know when he thinks that uh, the that woman is already committed to him then he doesn't want to spend much time listening and he said you do you know when you were we were dating you didn't talk like that but now you talk like that the reason is because when they get married the woman uh, have, have a strong sense of responsibility toward the family she wants to take care of the family she wants the home to be a, a, a comfortable home so she would put a lot of effort into the family and then when she sees that the husband doesn't have strong responsibility toward the family then he would she would get the frustrated and she would nag the man so that doesn't happen much at the beginning because at the beginning they want to attract each other and then uh, but after marriage they start to show the real self the real self of the male is that you know the generally for many males they just want to marry a woman and the woman belongs to her, him and then he can have sex that's you know that sex is one big thing in the mind of a male and then uh, so and then he thinks that's it you know that so he thinks that okay every day I come home I'm already loving you he thinks that just coming home is loving the, the wife and he doesn't realize that listening to the wife and uh, meeting her needs uh, you know listening to her needs and and responding to her feelings are important that he doesn't understand that but for the woman those things are very important because when she when the husband listens to her then she will feel important that she feels being cared for and so there is a, a big difference between the male and the female now why did God create male and female like that the reason is because God created male so that the male can do different kinds of business most of the businesses in the world all, most of the construction in the world were made by men and then the female the position is mainly in the family and so God created the female have a, a strong sense of uh, belonging to the family a strong sense of love uh, and then also she needs to be loved so the female would pay attention to the family now if male and female both have no sense of you know they don't need to be loved then this whole world would have not much feeling if you think about it most of the warmth of the family comes from the mother because the mother cares about the family more usually more than the than the father so that's how God created the woman that she'll take care of the family and the children and then the uh, and then the the male would do work outside of the home now of course nowadays this has changed but still uh, even when women have a job outside she still sees her family as the first priority most women see the family as the first priority over her job of course there are some exceptions so this is one big one big reason why there is marriage problem because since the fall of mankind male fail to pay attention to the female and fail to love now before the fall the male would love the female care about the female but now after the fall the male fails to care about the female and then the male uh, the female when the wife is unhappy she has a tendency to be emotional to be angry to be nagging and so this is after the fall that all these problems come about and then the more she the more she nags the more the husband is turned off 
and the more problem the family will have. And in some families, it even goes to a point that the husband really, uh, you know, wants the wife to disappear. When the wife keeps nagging, that he doesn't have love anymore for the wife. Now, this is a very dangerous sign. And then he sees a woman outside. The woman outside will not be talking to him about responsibilities, will not be nagging him. So he said, why didn't I choose this woman? This woman whom I meet outside, she's always fun. Now, that's the same thing with the wife before the marriage. When they were dating, it's always fun. It's only after they are dating regularly, steadily, and also after they get married, then the woman has to take up the responsibility of the family. And then she finds that the husband doesn't respond, doesn't have a sense of responsibility, and then she gets frustrated. So when the man meets a woman outside, the woman outside doesn't nag him at the beginning. So he thinks that, well, it's just my choice of my wife is wrong. Now this different woman, she has so much fun and she doesn't nag me and it's fun to be with her. And he didn't realize that if they have a steady relationship, this woman outside the family would also demand a constant relationship, also demands attention and response from him. And then he will start to get frustrated again. So for any, you know, uh, any relationship, any steady relationship, usually the woman demands more. Uh, she asks for love more and she expects love more. And when she doesn't get it, then she would, this, you know, she would be uh, unhappy and she would be emotional. And many men think that it's just my wife, the problem with my wife. Look at some other people's wife, they don't nag that much because, because the other wife doesn't nag to this man. You know, she would nag he, her husband. So the husband thinks that the other people's wives are better than my wife. And so they lose interest in the, in the wife and that causes many marriage problems. So husband and wife need to understand each other and uh, the men need to learn to re listen to female, listen to feelings, respond to feelings, understand feelings. This, there need to be training in a church about listening to the, uh, what people say and then what their feelings are. Uh, I use an example. When a wife says, uh, I'm unhappy, I'm tired. The husband, instead of finding out why she's unhappy, he will say, don't be unhappy, pray, and then you'll be happy again. So the husband just gives a solution, just tell her what to do. This is not what the wife wants. And then when he just tell her, you, you just think about the problem all the time, that's why you're unhappy. And, and that's what, why you're not a good wife anymore. And then he starts to complain. When he starts to complain, the wife will feel more frustrated because the husband doesn't listen to her and start to complain about her. And then she would get more frustrated and they would create more problem. But if the one, husband learned to understand and say, oh, I hear that you're unhappy. Tell me about it. Uh, uh, is there something I... I did not pay attention to you. Please tell me, what can I do better? And then the wife is better that she guides the husband and tell him what she likes him to do. I like you to listen to me and respond to me, not to teach me, but just respond to my feelings. Tell me how you feel when I have this feeling. If I feel unhappy, do you feel unhappy also? When I, feel, when I feel pressure, do you, do you understand my pressure? So the husband needs to learn to listen to the feeling of the wife and respond. Now this is a growing process. It's a growing process for the man to understand that women have different feelings. 
Now for men, very often men don't have those feelings. Or maybe they hide the feelings, they suppress the feelings, so they, they are not aware of the feelings. And that's why it's hard for the husband to communicate with the wife. So it's something they need to learn. And when the wife says, I'm unhappy, then he needs to listen and say, tell me why you are unhappy. Did I do anything wrong? Should I do anything uh, better? Uh, did I listen to you? Did I respond to you? And then the wife, when the husband talked to her like that, should not complain and say, right, you did not listen to me at all. The wife should say, I'll be very happy if you just sit still and listen to me and, and tell me how you feel when I tell you my feelings. Tell him what she likes him, how, uh, how he likes her, him to respond. Then, uh, then the husband knows what to do. But sometimes the wife just gets frustrated and, then, and the husband doesn't know what to do. And then the husband tries to do something and it's always wrong in the sight of the wife because the wife says, you never listen to me, you don't understand me because, because it's hard for a man to understand a woman. And it's hard for a woman to understand a man. A man thinks that a woman is like a man. I just tell you the reason and you understand. That's what a man thinks. He, un he didn't, doesn't understand that woman has feelings uh, when she's not cared for. Now, men generally don't feel that way. Generally, if people don't pay attention to a man, the man doesn't feel as sad that, or he suppresses that feeling. He's unhappy, but he suppresses the feeling. And he, he never say, would say, i like you to talk to me. He, the man doesn't want to talk like that. Now, I know that in some culture, it's hard for a man to respond to a woman's feeling. That he thinks that if I respond to the woman's feeling, that means my woman is controlling me now. Then she is my head. Now, that's not true. The Bible tells us to love the wife as Christ loves the church. So we need to learn to love the church, love the wife and listen to the wife and care for her. And then the wife will, you know, be, will be more willing to submit to the husband. Now, why does God tell the wife to submit to the husband? Because very often when the wife has a strong sense of responsibility, he wants to take over the family. He wants to to be in charge of the family. And so he take over many things in the family. And so the Bible says that the wife need to learn to submit to the husband. Now submit to the husband doesn't mean the husband make every decision in the house. Actually, if you read Ephesians chapter five, in a verse before it talks about wives submit to your husband, it says that submit one to another. So the husband should submit to the wife, listen to the wife, respond to the needs of the wife, and the wife should respond to the needs of the husband. And so both should respond to each other. <clears throat> so before marriage, there should be the commitment to love, to care for each other, to listen. But very often people don't think that way. Very often before marriage, if you talk to a man, he's going to get married. What he talks about is like this. Oh, I found a beautiful woman. Oh, this woman is so gentle, so nice, so sweet. He just talk about how lovely the woman is. He doesn't talk about, oh, I want to love her. I want to listen to her. I want to care about her. I want to pay attention to her. I want to make her feel loved. The husband doesn't think that way at all because that's the mentality of most people. When they get married, they just think of what they want to get from the marriage. So they, the husband just wants to get a, a wife who is lovely and don't talk that much and it's uh, submissive. And then when a girl, a woman is going to get married, 
she would tell her friend, oh, I found this man. He's so handsome, so gentle. He listened to me. She just talked about how he is, how he has the quality she wants. So he, she, find, she found what she wants from the man. Instead of saying, yes, I want to listen to her. I mean, I want to listen to him. I want to respect him, make him feel, he's, feel uh, that he's a, the man of the family, make him feel respected. That she doesn't think, think that way. She just think of what she wants. That's what happened in most people's marriage. Before they get married, they just want to get the person they want. And they think that when they get the person they want, then the marriage would become better and better. That's not true. The marriage will only become better when they are willing to love one another, listen to one another, submit to one another, be kind to one another, do the things the other person wants. Then the marriage will become better. Okay? Now in a family that people hurt each other easily in the family. That's it's a common problem. Why? Why does that happen? Thank you.